Hi, you might be asking yourself. I see a pound of strip and chat GPT. That's right, cooking challenge accepted. Chat GPT is feeding my family tonight. That's right, tonight we've got shrimp. I'm gonna go grab some rice, some mixed vegetables in there and uh, various sundry of other stuff that it's recommending. And I'm gonna be back to let you know if this thing knows how to feed you. So that just went from what you saw on the screen to this. Oh, it's still sizzling. Good job, babe. Thank you. That came together really, really, really fast. And that was all chat GPT. Chat GPT, yeah. We're eating what chat eats. All right, let's see. Now the real test is <laughs> how does it taste, right? So we're gonna be scooping up some of this and I'm gonna be doing the taste testing. I'm excited for this actually. Super healthy too. And we'll be putting the recipe down in the comment section so you can copy this if you want to. Try your own little stab at it. How's it smell? It smells really good. Does it? Let me this looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, I've had all of these ingredients before, but never seasoned up or whatever like this. So I'm actually anxious to see how this tastes. All done by Chad GPT. We're eating what Chad eats tonight. Mm. If this is how robots eat. Is it good? It is really good. It's flavorful. Oh, good. The seasonings, everything is Perfect. It's nothing is over this or oh. like just weird. Um, I kind of love hearing that because this came together really, really fast. Like mm. this is one of the fastest meals I've ever put together that has all of the. No, in this here. is really great. Super veggies. Fast. It's healthy. I mean, you got veggies, uh, the shrimp, mm -hmm. rice, the rice. Any kind of rice goes. Any kind of mix of vegetable goes. Mm. And just a few spices like I think you typically have in your pantry. The only thing I did different, this recipe did call for lime juice and I unfortunately do not have lime juice. I only have the lemon that it mm. recommended, so. The lemon is fresh. Oh yeah, it calls it's for light. both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it calls for both. I just was not able to do the lime, but I think the lemon is delicious. This is very well done. This is a definite Chad GPT win. Yay! We'll be back next time. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some of that lemon cake that chat made. Supposedly, it's not just dinner that Chad GPT is good at making. I guess it made dessert too. So we are going to check that out right now. Tonight, we are eating dessert compliments of Chat GPT. We are having a lemon cake. It does use a box cake mix, so it's a really, really fast recipe again. That's what I'm really liking about all of these. They're easy. You're gonna notice there is no icing and no frosting on this cake. I am going to judge this cake based on the cake itself and not frosting. If this cake needs frosting to be good, it's not good enough. So, I'm digging in. Here we go. I love the texture. Smells amazing, so lemony. She's the cake connoisseur. You know, give it the little sniff test and uh, letting it roll around in your palate. Chat has done it again. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it was horrible. <laughs> No, this is, this is delicious. And How is the uh, texture consistency? It is amazing. It's not dry at all. The texture is fantastic. It would stand up very well to decorating, but it doesn't need frosting. It's flavorful. It's, it's, it's everything I want in a cake. All done by a robot. <laughs> And look at you, you were all against ChatGPT like a year ago. <laughs> You've come so far.